we can go for serviceability check for serviceability check we will save this model as different name RSIS code this we can write S E R V that means for serviceability click on save because in this model we will change stiffness modification factor in IS18 in IS1893 2017 code stiffness modification factors are updated we can use this factors for unfactored loads for slab 0.35 for beam 0.7 for column and shell 0.9 before we have used this 0 0.25 0 0.35 0 0.7 0 0.7 for design loading conditions we can go to define frame section here we can check and check modifiers 0 0.35 0 0.35 0 0.35 we have used now we will use 0 0.7 for slab we have used 0 0.25 for slab it will be 0 0.35 so for beam from here we will not change we can change for all the beams select object type beams then go to assign frame property modifiers from here we can change so that separately for all the beam section i will not have to change that is more time consuming this one will save our time so this one now this one now 0 0.7 0 0.7 0. 7 click on apply okay now for column sections we have used before 0 0.7 0 0.7 i2 i3 okay now we will use select all the columns assign property modifiers i2 this will be 0 0.9 0 0.9 click on apply for slab we have used 0 0.25 m11 m22 m12 select object type floors assign shell stiffness modifiers 0 0.35 0 0.35 0 0.35 click on apply ok now save the model now we will run our analysis to check the serviceability of the structure finished now we will check the displacement display history response plot maximum history displacement load case we will check with RSX here the displacement 28.165 here 31.44 ninth floor roof we will check edit 9f roof this is 3.5 meter 3.5 meter and 9f roof this value is 
by 1000 this is in meter so 0 0.0315 meter and this is to the eighth floor roof 28.165 28.165 so eighth floor roof displacement this one ninth floor roof displacement this one so is to the drift coming 0 0.003 less than 0 0.004 of the story height if we multiply this height with this 0 0.004 then it is coming 0 0.014 so this value is less than this one so story drift okay and as per etaps if we consider drift ratio that is that means story drift divided by the floor height then it is coming 0.00939 here it will be checked with the 0.004 as it is already divided by the floor height so this also okay from etabs response plot we can get directly this value that is named drift but actually drift ratio as the value is unit less so here this one will be general okay for rsx similarly we can check using rsy along y direction this one for y direction to get direct value of drift we can select rsx and here maximum story drift here we can see the drift ratio terrace floor roof that means in this floor the area reduced so for this floor we can ignore this drift ratio we can see this one 0 0.00145 this one 0 0.00101002 so all these values less than 0 0.004 so that means drift check is okay for this structure now close this one now we will go for torsional irregularity check we will go to ninth floor roof now in this floor we will check two corner as the response or the seismic effect along x direction so we will check the two corner perpendicular to this seismic direction 30.9 26.44 so here we can check 30.9 26.44 so the delta max is 30.9 delta mean is 26.44 delta max by delta mean 1.17 less than 1.5 so this is okay if it is more than 1.5 then it will be not okay see here if it is more than 2 then it will be it will give the message building configuration shall be revised so now undo this one this okay for rsy we will check two corners perpendicular to seismic direction we will check here ui 17.353 32.768 here 17 here so 32.742 17.358 17.358 
now along y direction 1.89 more than 1.5 so it is showing not okay that means in our structure torsional irregularity exists if it is more than 2.0 we must have to change our configuration along y direction if we provide some shear wall along y direction then this displacement will be reduced and the difference in between del max and del min will be reduced so that it may come below 1.5 so by providing shear wall along y direction we can remove torsional irregularity from our structure so in this way we can check our serviceability i hope you will be donor member to provide minimum support for the channel to get more useful tutorials secondly if you need resources like excel you can be loving fan sub member if you need my whatsapp number for frequent communication then you can be top fan member so thanks for watching keep eyes on the channel for more upcoming important tutorials press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update